Alright, what's up guys? This is your boy Q. Uh, but do week one weigh in. So let's check it out. I'm gonna talk about it when I get outside a little bit. So here we go. So you just saw the scale, 302. From 306, 302, one week, that's four pounds. Um, I'm not surprised by those numbers. And the reason I say this is because one, I wasn't working out for the last two weeks of the year. I was eating like crap. I ate whatever I want. I was drinking. I had no no regards to what I was eating because I knew I was going to start my plan. So I was basically just trying to enjoy myself and get it all out of my system. So week one, I made a drastic change in my diet. So we'll see how we progress next week. I think it'll probably slow down here the next week or so if we're going forward from that. But uh, yeah, four pounds from a week. So today I'm actually bringing y'all along with me to go get my first tire rotation of oil change. So we'll talk about that on the way to the actual dealership. But first, you know what we gotta do, man. We lost four pounds one week, pretty good. So let's go ahead and get this gym session, man. Let's go. Hey, you see the sun ain't even up yet. It's still dark outside. We out here about to hit this gym, man. It's legs today. Let's go. Start ready for y'all real quick. Hey, there we go. Catch out the gym, let's go. How y'all next, we got uh, narrow barbell squats. So this really go target the quads and the glutes. So uh, lightweight, once again, I'm getting my first time squatting in quite a while. So uh, narrow stance, I think two sets of 12, just 12 reps, pretty light. I might go 135, maybe 185, not too heavy. Uh, and yeah, let's get to it. Make sure you sit your butt back. Now make sure you need to your toes. You don't want that. Make sure you sit back like you sit in the chair and keep that 90 degree angle on your chin. Next we got uh, dumbbell or kettlebell squats. So next we got uh, barbell front squat uh, for lunge. So right now my wrists, wrists aren't very flexible. I haven't done these moving in a while. I don't do a lot of front squat. And you need flexible wrists to do that. So you can overcompensate that by giving you some scraps right here racking around and holding it with the straps. Straps hold, basically holding it like this. Now we're moving on to reverse kettlebell lunges. Tell you right now, man, I'm already sore. It's crazy, it's gonna be a rough week for sure. No pain, no gain. So finish off with some abs here. Gotta get that six pack, man. All right, guys, so my workout's complete. That's it. Legs hurting already, I'm walking funny. <laughs> but hey, man, let's go. All right, what's up everybody? I hope y'all enjoyed that workout video. Man, uh, legs, love long legs. Legs probably one of my favorite exercises to do, but let's get into today's subject of what we're gonna talk about. Like I said, I wanna talk to y'all today about the importance of rotating your tires and why you should do it, uh, you know, basically recommended on the deal the menu in your uh, your owner's menu in your car some people do it every 3,000 some people do it every 5,000 some people do it every other oil change which is usually like 5,000 miles um, and also why it's important to rotate these not only just your normal tires but these mud tires as well and so I want to make three key points as to why you should rotate your tires and what it prevents so number one it prevents uneven wear of your tires number two your tires are the main thing touching the road right and so that's going to if you have bad tires, it's gonna drastically impact the way your car handles. So you wanna make sure you have uh, good tires and that they're rotated properly and often. And the third thing being, it increases the lifetime and the lifespan of your tire. Um, and also keeping them properly inflated does that as well. So going back to my first point, which was uneven wear and tear, you're probably wondering what causes uneven wear and tear on the tire. And it can be a few things. Uh, one being if they're underinflated or overinflated, you'll see some uneven wear on your tire. And the second thing is, if you have a two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive car. Uh, so if you have a two-wheel drive, basically the front two wheels of your car, the power to move your car is gonna go to the front two wheels. Same thing you have a rear-wheel drive. You have a rear-wheel drive car, the power to use to you to move your car is gonna go to the rear wheels. So you can imagine if you got a front-wheel drive car, the tires in the front are working a little harder than the tires in the back and vice versa if you have a wheel wheel drive car so that's why you have to rotate your tires uh, and like i said it's every three or five thousand miles now that's the second part of this debate some people say three some people say five 
I don't know the answer, to be honest with you. Is there an answer? I have no idea. Watch out. Vehicle uh, stopped on shoulder ahead. Excuse me. Yes. Me, personally, what I'm going to do in my judgment, I usually do every oil change. But with these tires, I don't think these tires are a higher grade tire, the ones I have on the truck at the moment. So I'm probably going to try to do these every 3,000 miles. So that's the knowledge. That's the that's the viewpoint I'm going to use. If I have like a Nitto or a Toyo, something that's a little more durable, better quality, you know, uh, I'll probably do those every five. But like I said, the ones I have now, I'm going to do every three uh, just to make sure the lifespan land, uh, lasts a little longer. And also, when I bought the car, they told me at the dealership, they said rotate every 3,000 miles with these tires. So, um, and I'm well past 3,000. 3,000 snuck on me real quick, honestly. Now, I'm headed, I'm not headed to a Ford dealership. And I'm actually headed to a lifted truck dealership. And they do motorcycles. They do all types of stuff at this dealership. Motorcycles, lifted trucks, lift kits. So, the reason I chose to not go to Ford to get my oil change and tire rotated, and you probably can guess this, is because Ford, they work usually on stock Ford trucks, right? And my truck is stock for the most part besides the lift kit and the tire. So I prefer to go to someone who understands and knows about lift kits and mud tires and make sure you rotate, not only rotating them, make sure they're balanced. You gotta make sure you balance your tires as well on these uh, these mud tires. You gotta make sure you balance them because one, they're being driven on concrete and they're not supposed to be. And so over time, it can probably throw off the balance. And you'll notice you get a lot of shake in your steering wheel like a lot of wobble like vibration through your steering wheel you probably need to rotate your tires or balance balance them so that's why i'm choosing to go to a lifted truck dealership to get it done and also and it's funny how i met this guy um i actually was looking around like trying to find a lifted truck dealership to maintenance my car and so at the motorcycle show the video just saw i ran into this guy named was trent and he was like yeah man you know i'm at hooper and I'm like, oh yeah i know hooper he's like i like do y'all do oil change he's like yeah we do oil changes tire rotation and think about us you have somebody who knows lift kits and knows mud tires and you don't have just some 18 year old kid back there you know making 10 15 bucks an hour just changing your tires and putting them back on and going by your way you actually have people who understand and know about balance and not only do they rotate and balance they also inspect your lift kit and once he said that i was sold you know because i want to make sure my lift kit and everything is right on the lift kit and uh um, to make sure every you know everything is good and safe now with the oil change wasn't really a big issue not to go to the dealership Anybody can do an oil change. I thought about doing an oil change myself, but since it's my first one, I'm going to take to the dealer. And then my next one, I probably will do myself. So I think I have a 50,000 mile maintenance coming up, I think. And so I'll probably take it to Ford for that, for sure. But this is just for the oil change, like I said, which is anybody can do an oil change. And But the tire rotation lift kit, I really want to take it here. Somebody who knows about um, lift kits and tires. So that's the reason I chose to go to Hooper Motorplex. Like I said, right now I'm on my way there. Look at this right here, baby. So make sure you're rotating your tires and things like that. But uh, I'll catch y'all when I get over to Hooper Motorplex. I'm here. Sorry about that. Ooh, swing up in here. Boom. All right. Also, guys, I forgot to mention that sometimes you may think you need a, tire, a wheel alignment. Sometimes a simple tire rotation will fix that for you. I happened to me one time my car was pulling to the left and um not bad but i could tell a slight pull and once i got the tire rotated boom it was straight so i didn't even need a wheel alignment it was just i need the tires rotated so that's another thing to keep in mind too sometimes just rotation of the tires will fix that uh alignment issue that you think you may have all right guys since i'm at the dealership i'm just gonna walk around show y'all some of these cars like i always do so let's take a look and see what they got out here first you got a nice chevy silverado super cool Put the flares on it here. Over here, you gotta lift it. Man, I like the tires. Please. Super nice, super nice. Let's see what kind of lift it is. Nice truck. It's a nice Jeep as well. Let me see what that is. This is nice. Over right here. So Brielle said that she's up in the midlife crisis. This could be a Jeep. I love this paint. Jeeps like a mat type thing. Only 26 thousand. This is nice. Put in the front. This is nice. Keep the interior. This is nice. 
was nice. I like this. Fuel wheels, of course. I love fuel. Everything I do with wheels. These are nice. This one right here. Bodies. Check. Got a Corvette. And they got a Hellcat. Okay, I'm going to get that This Corvette. Woo! This thing is small though, man. I don't even think I can fit in the seat of the Corvette. I said, you know, it's a manual. And you got the tail cap. How much is this Corvette, man? Stick on the Corvette and. on the seat. Woo. Seats are nice. I like this, I like this, I like this. Here we go, Mustang. Oh, it's a GT 350! <laughs> it's a GT 350! Oh, this is what I want right here, bro. Oh, this is what I want. Oh, it's a GT 350. Oh. oh, it's a manual. Is that a manual? Yeah, it's a manual, man. Oh, look at the seats. Two, two, three, 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 the seats. This is the car I want next, man. Gosh, I love the way this car looks. And then, it's a lead. Gosh, I love the way this car looks. So what y'all think? This, the GT350, or the Hellcat? Comment below. Which one you think? G3350 or Hellcat? Comment below. Got another lift truck right here. Let's go. Get a BMC. That's how I lift it. Just like a little kid on there. We got another one. This is nice as well. Yeah, it's a nice truck. Yeah, they got a very nice inventory out here, man. My first time coming up here. I'm not sure if that's them over there as well, across the way. But they do a lot of customized stuff over here. All right, guys, so I'm just now leaving the shop. Everything's done, everything looks good. Um, I did talk to one of the techs there. And so for mud tires, like the ones I have, he recommended you swap these every 3,000 miles, man. So I'm probably gonna do that going forward. Um, every 3,000 mile interval, get them switched out. I didn't get them balanced. He said he doesn't, didn't recommend me getting them balanced this time, but next time when I come get my uh, tires rotated, definitely get them balanced there. So I'll probably do that. I think it's just 20 bucks to get them balanced. And uh, one thing they noticed, nothing with lift kit. Everything checked out on the lift kit fine. And actually the guy who was working on my truck, he installs lift kit. So he looked the lift kit over. He said everything was good, no problems. Only thing they saw was just something with my uh, rotors. They said probably soon after I changed my brakes, my rotors will need to be replaced as well. That's just normal maintenance on a car, man. If you get a car, you have to maintenance. So nothing wrong with that. But other than that, man, the shop is a very unique shop. Speaking with one of the guys, they took their dealer approach and went the other way. Like, so he's like, instead of us getting these Honda Civics, we had to compete with the six other shops selling Honda Civics. So he was like, they only sell like unique cars, not expensive, just unique. So lift cars, you saw in the video, lifted trucks, lifted Jeeps, Hellcats, um, SRTs, he said Lamborghini. So of course the market is gonna be smaller, but you have, if you know me, if you're in a car market, in a unique car market, and you want certain cars, you're willing to travel and get cars and buy them. So he said they have people from California, Seattle, New York who come and buy their cars. So that's their thing. They do everything. They do motorcycles, they do cars, they do lift kits, lift truck, they install lift kits. So they're uh, a very different dealership from what you're probably used to seeing, but I personally love the idea to go. When everybody goes right, you go left. And that was your Q-tip of the day. It's working for them. So I'll probably go back to them for all my work on my truck, to be honest with you. Um, again, just knowing somebody who works on lift kits, they all, some have lift kits, lift kits themselves. So they understand that, you know, normally for a dealership, 
they they don't really service these vehicles often so uh that's who i'll probably be going for my main super nice guys man trent again i met trent at the motorcycle show and then i just met ricky he was there today trent wasn't and ricky was a super cool funny guy man so ricky if you ever watch this video man you appreciate the service and the hospitality man super nice dude I mean, we talked about everything. Definitely recommend them. I know I'll be going back there for my service as well. So, uh, but hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was um, useful. And just like that, man, we'll catch y'all up.